Welcome to the dark side. Lady Vader here, and we are back with more of the Pam's Harvest Craft All Recipe Challenge. So we're going to start with some baked beets. Why does anyone want to bake beets? Couldn't tell you. So we need a beet, black pepper, butter, and bakeware. That's a lot of bees in one sentence. That seems to happen when we're making things with beets. I think this is the only recipe. Looks like a purple blob. Now we're moving on to a broccoli section. And then sweet potatoes. And there, there's a lot of veggies going on today. So, broccoli, pasta, and cheese in a pot. For broccoli soup. Pasta, broccoli, cheese. Ta-da! Now broccoli and dip. Now we need a mixing bowl because we're all mixed up. You can see I made some more of the uh, rainbow curry. That was useful when getting ingredients. So we need broccoli, heavy cream, and an onion. So onion, broccoli, heavy cream, and broccoli and dip. Again, don't understand why. Now cream blo broccoli, creamed broccoli soup is our next one. So we need broccoli, carrot, flour, pepper, and stock. So there's a carrot. There's our broccoli. There's a pot. Black pepper, flour in soup. That sounds rather dusty. And there we go. Creamed broccoli soup. Yummy. I say this with some mild sarcasm. Now, for our sweet potato pie, we need our bakeware. And then sweet potato, dough, ground cinnamon, and marshmallows. Marshmallows is a later recipe, but I had to make them to make this. I don't know if this is not anticipated with people making them in order. Dough, that's... Well, let's try that again. Uh, apparently, recording while updating my driver, not a good idea. Uh, where were we? Where were we indeed? Um, broccoli and dip. Did we make the cream broccoli soup? Ah, sweet potato pie. So, we... Oh. Could have sworn I had the dough in my inventory, but I guess I didn't. So for sweet potato pie, we need our bakeware, a sweet potato, dough, cinnamon, and marshmallows. The marshmallows are a later recipe. I don't know if they anticipated people doing this in order, but we will end up making them again. Now, candied sweet potatoes, we need a saucepan. Cinnamon, sugar, sweet potato, saucepan. So that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, sweet potato, cinnamon, sugar. And there's our candied sweet potatoes. And mashed sweet potatoes is simple. Butter and sweet potato. Also with the saucepan and boom. Now we move on to another food. Uh, I feel like one pea is not going to be enough. I probably thought I grabbed two and then didn't because I tend to go into dirt mode sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, steamed peas is salt, water, and peas. Again, with the trusty saucepan. And peas. Or maybe it's not. Oh, it's with, no, it's with the pot. I was close. Close, but not close enough. Oh, we need to make some space here, so. Um, 
Oh, that's right. We're on our third chest of completed recipes. Oh, no, I want the stock. Give me that, please. Uh, what else is finished here? Yeah, I made plain yogurt because we are going to be making pineapple yogurt. And again, the yogurt recipe is something we will just pull out later. So we made the steamed peas. Now, split pea soup. So we want a cork, a cork chop. And let me try that again. Now, we're making split pea soup, so we want a cooked pork chop, peas, stock, and pepper. I have a cooked pork chop, right? Oh, it's in here. There we go. Cooked pork chop, peas, stock, and pepper. Again, pepper we make with the mortar and pestle and peppercorn. And my birds, my, well, my Minecraft birds are making noises. My real life birds are sleeping. Now we're doing a pineapple ham. Ground pork, pineapple, sugar, and cherry. I don't know why we're baking the ham, but we are. So, what was it? What was the other one? Sugar, yes. Okay. That looks like a shrimp or a tape dispenser. So here's our pineapple yogurt. We have the plain yogurt and we just throw in a pineapple. Now, turnip soup. Again, don't know why this is a thing. So stock pumpkin, which is not a turnip, a turnip and butter our last stock, a turnip, a pumpkin, and then where was our pot? There we go. And then roasted root vegetable medley. Why? I don't know. But we still have some ingredients in here we're going to be using, so we'll grab those believe we need it. Yeah, we need the spice leaf for this. Now, um, hello. I lost a sweet potato. That's unfortunate. Um, hello, sweet potato. There we go. Oh. It's raining. Oh no. We are cooking late into the night. <clears throat> Excuse me again. My goodness. Now, I think we were going up to the spicy greens, maybe? Um, so, turnip, carrot, onion, spice leaf. Wait, why did I get a sweet potato? Wait. Did I, did I do something... Yes, I did. I grabbed another sweet potato for no reason. Well then. Now, baked turnips. I, oh. I was short a turnip, not a sweet potato. Hello. Hello, turnips. Now, back to that idea. Baked turnips. So turnip, butter, salt, and pepper. Salt pepper my my gift for saying the uh, opposite of what I'm putting down is absolutely oh that's sugar anyway well then gingerbread so batter ginger cinnamon and butter and I didn't grab any batter did I nope I do still have cinnamon, yes. Okay, cinnamon, batter, better butter, butter better, and ginger. I think this would be bakeware, yes. Then, do we need cinnamon for either of these? No, okay, good. Oh, wait, yes we do. Well, this is how you make ground cinnamon. 
We'll just, uh, oh, I hear an Enderman. We'll just move on to that. And just pretty much any spice that needs to be ground goes in the mortar and pestle. So we need flour, ginger, and sugar or honey. Now I've been saving my honey because I believe there are some recipes that um, require actual honey instead of sugar. So then we have ginger and sugar in a saucepan for candied ginger. If your name is Ginger, I'm sure you're very confused right now. <clears throat> Let's see what else. We want mustard. Mustard goes, wait, was that with the juicer? I'm going to be right back and double check what recipe I meant to go up to and we'll be right back. Okay, well I don't have that written down. So, we're back. Um, what were we on? Gingerbread, candy ginger, mustard, which we need the juicer for. Ooh. And then I'm just going to run into a chest, because that's, it, it, that's fine. That's, that's how we do. So we have four mustard. And then we want a soft pretzel with mustard. So we want dough, butter, salt water. Uh, obviously, I did plan for this, except for grabbing the dough. I also don't know why I still have this onion. I'm sure there's something along the lines. Uh, must be for whatever the heck this is. Spicy greens. Okay, I think that's where we're going to end it. Now, so salt, dough, butter, water. Butter, water, salt, dough. We could also say it in that order. Um, bake with? Yes. I took a guess and it worked. And then we just, I think we just stick these two together and there you go. Now, spicy mustard pork. Again, we want salt. Wait, what? What? Saucepan. Okay. I'm so good at this memory thing. And then, well, I'm going to guess mustard's one of the ingredients. Hmm, who'd have guessed? Now we need mustard, spinach, onion, pepper, garlic, and oil. Mustard, onion, garlic, spinach, pepper, and oil. There we go, yes, that used up the last of my ingredients except for those. <clears throat> now we will add these to the chest o fun. Well, not necessarily chest o fun, chest o stuff. Yeah, no. So that's it for that episode. We have two and a half gold level chests full of food and a lot of recipes to go. So I'm probably going to upgrade these to diamond possibly beyond that but we are going to end this one here and lady vader out thanks for watching and see ya